smaller one. There's two of them. Looks like a really big one and then like a smaller one. Yeah. Oh no, what happened? Oh no. Oh no. <gasps> something wrong because we're in the construction zone. Oh my god, I gotta try to get an ambulance all back here. Look at that, how backed up and people are all out of the vehicles. What the heck happened that they were injured that enough? Yeah. Something in the construction zone. How dirty the van is. I just washed it last week. That construction. Look at the view. Look at this lookout. Just came from down there. Still snow just right there. A little bit of snow up there. Man, look at all the pine trees that are dead in there, especially way up there. All right, we just finished up our day at Yellowstone, our final day. We did three days at Yellowstone, and we, we are bushed. We are exhausted. Uh, the amount of driving that you do, that park is huge. And then, of course, the traffic and stuff, you know, and people and waiting and I'm a little bit larger so I don't always fit in a spot and uh, walking and walking man we walk for miles so I'm not sure if three days was actually enough but we saw a lot and uh, I've looked at some of my footage and man that is a spectacular place definitely something you need to see in person but um, so we went to West Yellowstone two nights, did a parking lot, and we are here at Walmart on the other side. This is the east entrance of Yellowstone. We are at Cody, Wyoming, and doing the Walmart because I was too tired to drive anymore. By the time we drove out of the park and stuff, it's hours and hours. And then there was construction and waiting in line, and man, what a huge park, but definitely worth it to see and uh, you know it's a busy time of year busy season so that's what I expected and uh, been to other parks at the busy time and and know what it's like but um, so I just I was too tired I was ex exhausted I'm actually a little bit sore my muscles and stuff 
and uh, uh, just came to the Walmart and tomorrow we're gonna regroup and uh, move just about an hour hour south and uh, find an actual camping spot so one more thing I kind of debated whether to tell this story and uh, I decided I wanted to be kind of as real as I can uh, this was extremely exhausting going through Yellowstone in three days and today uh, really put the icing on the cake if you would say uh, so you know we walked a lot of miles a lot of miles it rained a little bit today we got a little bit wet other days we got really hot and dirty uh, We've been in a parking lot now for, you know, this would be number four, so we haven't got to shower. Um, I actually did kind of like wash my legs off and my feet off last night in the parking lot, but um, Adele and I just got done laughing about this. Uh, we're like, God, it just stinks in the van. It smells like eggs and poop. And <laughs> if you've been to Yellowstone, You'll understand the egg smell because it smells like sulfur everywhere in the park. All of the geysers, all of the, you know, springs and vent things all smell. And the last thing that we saw was sulfur cauldron. And that smell is in my head. I've been smelling sulfur rotten egg smell now for, you know, three days. We haven't been able to wash but the poop did not come from Yellowstone. Tell you what happened with that. I'm sure people, you guys out there that travel with pets have had this happen before, but something gave the dog poops. <laughs> and I think we're on poop number six or something today. I took her out early this morning. She pooped twice. I was like, oh great, you know, all done for the day. And, uh, and we get into the park and she's whining and panting and I'm like it's in the 50s why is she panting that's not good we took her out she peed and pooped again within 10 minutes within 10 minutes she starts whining and we are in a construction zone inside the park I can't pull over anywhere and I'm you know we're not I can't hurry I mean I'm just like okay here just a few more minutes just a few more minutes Nope, she pooped in her bed, and she's a big dog. She's a big dog. Yeah. Yeah, she's a big dog, and uh, we have stopped a couple more times, and she's had a little bit more tiny poops. We don't know what's happened. We've had to clean everything. Just a few days ago, I had the van spotless look at it. It looks like we've been in the desert or something or on mud roads. It was the construction wasn't paved and now the van, I had <laughs> it all clean, is a mess. The van's a mess. We need to be able to get back out to the wide open spaces. We need to be able to get back out to the wide open spaces so we can shower and clean and make sure the dog is outside because I don't know what did it and we don't know if it's going to happen again. And I gotta wash her bed, and she's gonna have to sleep on no bed tonight because I can't get to it tonight. But, you know, by the end, I think we drove four hours, you know, from one side of the park all the way through, not including stops because of traffic, because of construction, and then the dog having poops all along the way, and the smell of poop and sulfur is still stuck in our head for tonight. We were just laughing about that. So, uh, hopefully we can rest good and uh, do some wash and uh, <laughs> clean the dog, clean her bed, clean ourselves tomorrow, and regroup. All right, so I got some goodies in the mail that I needed to show you that I got for free from the company of Vont. They sent me these awesome little motion lights. <laughs> so they sent me a couple packages of these most motion sensor lights. They're like little puck lights and they have a magnet on the back of them and have batteries in them already. And uh, 
they have a photo cell in them so they won't come on during the day but uh, with the magnet I'm going to put them on the outside of the van for at night so in case we need to go outside or something they will come on or if something approaches the van at night then uh, they will come on so they sent me a couple packages of those and those will take uh, three triple A batteries you can kind of see them through the light there uh, that aren't included in the box. The second thing that they sent me is uh, these camping lanterns. These actually come with the batteries, these LED lanterns. There's two in a pack. And they also gave me a discount code that is below in the description if you want to buy any of their products. There, it finally shut off. That's nice and bright. We're going to put that on the outside tonight. So here is their little lanterns. You've probably seen this style before with the flip up and uh, open it up. I have to use both hands here just a minute. This one includes batteries and it's three uh, double A's. I didn't install the batteries so it doesn't blind us because this is super bright. You can see, see the LEDs in there and the design where it closes up and uh, you can kind of minimize the lights a little bit. Well, it's hard for me to do it with one hand, but um, so these are pretty handy and they last a long time and nice that they include the batteries also. All right, it says there's a storm coming. Holy cow. There's dust hitting my eyes and face. It is super windy out here. Oh, I got dust in my eyes. So that lightning, there's some more over there. I looked at the radar and it doesn't look that bad, but I'm not familiar on uh, the storms. And it's acting nasty. And it's dark as heck, you can see. I mean, it is almost nighttime, but uh, you can see the clouds.